are gathered here today to celebrate the legacy of these remarkable individuals who have made a valuable contribution for peace. Remembering them is a, an act of honor to them, but it is also an act of reflection. So if they did give their own lives so, for peace, so many of us should be the same thing, because peace is still a long way to go. As we consider the legacy of peace of these great leaders, let the lives of these men that we honor tonight be an inspiration to us. Tonight, we honor those who have blessed this world with their efforts to reduce the hostilities of this troubled world, including those members of the UN family who perished in Haiti. I now invite everyone to stand together and observe a minute of silence. I also had a good friendship with Hedy and Abby. He was close to the United Nations. He was a good friend of the United Nations. I wanted to share with you and also to celebrate his life. I imagine it's quite necessary for us to mourn and grieve the loss. But it's also important that we celebrate the lives of those who served the cause of peace. And tonight, as we look at the list and observe the photographs, there's much reason to celebrate and to hope. I was very touched to hear all these people's uh, personal life stories and to see that each individual as a person can make a difference. I see the value of bringing spirituality values to global concerns and that is being done tonight. We like to extend ourselves by <clears throat> nurturing and supporting those who are working at the UN. It's truly a wonderful, wonderful occasion and for the young people in the audience, I think it's a time to really think about how they want to live their life and what kind of a legacy they would like to leave in their lifetime because each of our lives is really an opportunity or a gift given by our God up in heaven to really make something beautiful and to leave something beautiful behind. From time to time, as I was a young boy and then a young man, I would hear my father speak of Reverend Moon. One thing that he constantly said about him, he said he's a global man who seeks to spread the word of peace throughout the world without regard to religion, ethnicity, culture, or color of any human being. I do want to spend a moment and thank the Reverend Moon, who was one of the first people that we heard from as a family when my father passed away uh, this past February. One of the messages that did come over from Reverend Moon to my family was that the passing of my father, as well as all of these distinguished individuals up here, uh, should be viewed as a joyous event. Not only because there is an ascension to another place, another world, but also because each of these individuals accomplished so much in their lifetime. And I'd like to thank the Federation for bringing to the attention of everyone what these people have accomplished for the sake of peace. I have said that a life of vertical noontime alignment casts no shadow. If we can all shine as we live such a glowing life, there will be no chance for a shadow of sin to be cast. Those who receive the light will be indebted to the light. I pray that you can now wipe away the tears of the poor and deprived and lead an illuminated life of eternal true love that disperses all darkness.